The year 2024 marks the 50th anniversary of the discovery of the Terracotta Warriors. Let's delve into some legendary tales from the world of archaeology. Why are the Terracotta Warriors always grey? In fact, they were originally painted in vibrant colors when buried. However, upon excavation, the paint layers dried out and flaked off within minutes. Most of the pigments used by the ancients were derived from the plants and minerals, such as malachite and cinnabar. These materials were grounded into porter and then mixed to create pants. The purple on the slaves of a charity figure unearthed in 2040 was successfully preserved thanks to the collaboration of Chinese and German experts and was named Chinese Purple. The chemical composition of this purple pigment, known as barium copper silicate, it is not naturally occurring. It is synthesized by mixing azurite, malachite, barite and barium sulfate and then heating the mixture to 1000 degrees Celsius. Where well, modern scientists can replicate this process, how the Qing people produced this pigment over 2,000 years ago remains a mystery. Unfortunately, Chinese purple has only been found in tombs of nobility from Qing and Han dynasties and has never been seen again. Chinese purple not only represents the nation's Chinese technological innovation, but also challenges the modern perception that Qing people exclusively wore black. In fact, they were found of vibrant purple and presumed fashion much like we do today.